Right, hi guys. Another video for you here. I've purchased a two inch lift block kit. That's these. Them are the front ones. We'll be fitting them on the car today. As you can see, I'm just giving them a little quick paint. There's the two rears. That's how they come. So what I'll do is I shall start getting the tools I need to do this and I shall bring you back when I'm uh, start fitting them so you've got a bit of a tutorial to how to fit them so here we go then right then first things first we've got to remove this shock turret here and the shock so it'll be underneath there that nut there, we'll take that off, it's a 19mm undo the four ring bolts there, remove the shock Right, there you go. Four bolts. And that'll just come off. So, I've got a nice find all the nuts and bolts that I left off. Then what we'll do now, we'll go and take off the bottom nut. And that will then remove the shock and the turret. Right then, I've undone that nut. I'm now going to pull the shock turret out along with the shock. Right then, turret's off. Now would be a good time just to make sure you've got no leaks. Check the condition of these bushes. Because now would be a good time to replace them if you need to. Okay, next job. This, uh, if I need to focus. 217mm there. Got to take them off. So that'll release that bottom plate where the spring's located. So I'll crack on with that and when I've undone them too I'll bring you back. Right, we move them to nuts and bolts from the bottom so that uh, spring disc will actually come off. I'm now going to put these spring compressors on because we're going to need to just compress the spring just a little bit without not making the mistakes we made last time. I shan't be actually compressing it a lot, I should just be like leaving these on so when I jack the car up the spring will drop out. There you go. Now we'll just get the uh, jack. We'll jack the car up.
Right, the spring is now loose. I'm going to pop the bolt back on there so I don't lose that. Right, I need to get a two inch gap there. Right, remove the spring. We'll need to pop that back in later. Obviously that's the spring base. I'll just give these a quick clean up. This then goes in place and then your spring fits on top of there. So I'll go and find some nuts and bolts and get them the fire brush. So go get this bit, put in Two bolts, tighten them up. Now I'm using nylon lock nuts as well. Here's the first stage. So all we've got to do now is replace this with the two bolts back on here. Right, the new block's fitted in place if you look in there now. Now all it is, is refit all your parts back. So, spring back in. Bring his back in its place. Now we gotta do slowly bring it down. Right, put it two clicks so you can bring it into place. I have to bring it back up again to get the bottom in.
downside in, making sure the spring is in the right place. Looks about right. Remove spring compressors, or in this case, just hold them there. Spring back in. Spring the, uh, the blocks there. So we're going to now is put back our shock and the turret. What? Putting the shock back in. Putting all this back together. Yeah. Right, I've got the bottom Indeed. bolt on the shock. Bit of a pain in the backside, so if you want to come and have a look. That's how it looks now. So what I've got to do now is put the turret back on and I'll bring you back when I've done that. Right, there you go. All the bolts are back in, shocks back in, the blocks in. So, I hope this tutorial helps someone if they buy any of these lift blocks to put in their suspension. All I've got to do now is re torque all of the bolts, make sure they're all the right torque, and that's it. That's this side done. Just got to do the other side. I'm not going to bore you with doing that. Just got to move the air box again to do the side. So there you go. I'll bring you on another video on the back suspension when I do that. So for this video, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next vid. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Uh -huh.